ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الحديث حديث محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وعياذ بالله ما بعد All thanks and praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him, we seek his assistance and his forgiveness. And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil that is within our deeds, within our self and our deeds. Verily the one that Allah guides, no one can mislead. And the one that Allah sends astray, no one can guide. I bear witness that there is no deed worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I testify that his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and the final messenger. O you who have believed, fear Allah as he should be feared and die not except in the state of Islam. O you mankind, fear your Lord who has created you from a single soul. From that soul brought forth mate, from both souls spread many men and women. Fear your Lord to whom you ask one another for the mutual relation and the womb ties. Verily, Allah is ever watchful over everything that you do. O you who have believed, fear Allah and always speak what is straight and just. He will dispose your affairs and he will forgive your sins. Whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger has indeed attained the greatest success. Verily, the best of speech is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the best of guidance is the guidance of His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the most evil of affairs is the newly invented matter in this religion. Because every newly invented matter in this religion is an act of innovation. And every innovation is misguidance. And every misguidance leads to the hellfire. And we seek a less refuge from that. Alhamdulillah, as we are guided once again on this special day of Jum'ah that Allah has blessed us with. As to remind ourselves every time, everywhere, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call upon the believers just as we are gathered today. We could have been at work, we could have been busy with our normal life, but because Allah called upon us on this special day, special hour, to be here, we listen and we obey. So every verse in the Quran that Allah addressed the believers by saying, Ya ladina aman, it's calling upon the believers, that means we should follow the instruction that usually comes after. 
because that is to testify that we are indeed believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He called upon the believers by saying, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, qulu min tayyibati ma razaqanakum, wa shkuru lillah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put a question after that. He said, In kuntum iyyahu ta'budun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling upon the believers again. O oh, you who have believed, who have accepted faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, eat from the good provision he has provided for you. And be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he said, if indeed, indeed it is Allah, that you worship. It is Allah that you have testified as the only one God. So it is also a test. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed us to eat from which is good. This is instructions for every believer. A lot of times we focus, we pay attention to the halal food. We go distances, we travel, we go to places in order to find halal food. When it comes to seeking Allah's provision, as he said, from what he has provided you, from the good he has provided you. Are we also careful when it comes to that, making sure we are also selecting the source of income to be halal? Or it only matters when it comes to that, the actual food that we eat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran again he said, Inna Allah la tufadlin ala nas wa la kinna akkar al nasi la yashkur. This is Allah. This is not narration. This is not a saying of a scholar. This is not an opinion of anybody. This is Allah speaking. Allah said, indeed, He is bountiful towards the mankind. But majority of people are ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Majority of people are not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not an opinion. This is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned about Luqman alayhi salam. He said, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِقْمَةِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِلَّهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned of Luqman, he said, he has blessed him, given him wisdom. And this is also provision. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, He is the one who gives wisdom. So Allah select who He wants to give wisdom to. And whoever that Allah has given wisdom to, Allah has done that person a great favor. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is telling us, He has given Luqman alayhi salam wisdom, He has blessed him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to be grateful. And then he said, وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرْ لِنَفْسِهِ Whoever is grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has done it for his own benefit, his own self. If you're grateful to Allah, Allah has given you option here. If you are grateful to him, then it is for your own benefit. And if you were to be ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning for the favors that he has blessed you with, then indeed you should know that Allah is not in need, is self-sufficient, and he's full of praise. So Allah is not in need of our gratitude. So Allah give us the option. If we are thankful to Him, then 
we benefit from that. And if we are not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should know He's not in need of our gratitude. And then Allah mentioned of the story of Sulaiman alayhi salam. Among those jinns who Allah put under the command, the authority of Sulaiman alayhi salam, there was one that promised he can bring the throne of the queen to him before he blinks his eye. And when Sulaiman alayhi salam seen that, it was apparent to him. What did he say? قَالَ هَذَا مِنْ فَضِلِ الْغَبِّ Say this is indeed from the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of my Lord. And then he said لِيَبَلُوَنِي أَأَشْكُرْ أَمْ أَكْفُرْ in order to test me, to try me, to see if I'm going to be among ones who are grateful to him. Or I'm going to be among those who are ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he said, وَمَنْ شَكَرَ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِ And again, whoever is thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has done it for his own benefit. وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ رَبِّي غَلِيٌّ كَلِيٌّ and if that person is ungrateful, then indeed my Lord is not in need and he is generous. Meaning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if you are ungrateful, he still provides for you. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was to give provision only to the ones who are grateful, a lot of us will be in poverty, extreme poverty, will not receive any provision from Allah. But Allah will still continue to give. I mean, look at the rich people that we see. The wealthy people now today. Most of them are disbelievers. And still Allah gives it to them. Still Allah gives it to them because the risk from Allah is also trial. So we should pay attention to that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again he said, وَلَقَدْ مَكَّنَّاكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, he has established you on earth. وَجَعَلْنَا لَكُمْ فِيهَا مَعَائِشِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made for you a livelihood. Meaning ways to go and seek His provision. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, قَلِيلًا مَا تَشْكُرُ He said, little, we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Allah. Because you know, when you're talking about somebody, you did something for somebody or somebody gave you something and he tells other people I've given such and such to this person I've done such and such to this person but he was not even thankful to me he did not even say anything to me you could argue but this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said little thanks do you give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he commanded the family of Dawood alayhi salam. He said, ala Dawood shukra. He said, work, meaning work. Do what is right. Whatever you do, seeking provision, whatever, or whatever you do doing towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, towards your akhirah. Work and be among those who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who give thanks. And then he said, wa qalilun min ibadiyash. And then he said, few from my servants are grateful. Only few. Remember, beginning Allah said, When Allah talked about majority, he said majority are ungrateful. But when Allah talked about gratitude here, he said only few from my servants are grateful. So the question is, you got to ask yourself, where do we belong? Do you belong in the majority or do you belong in the minority? Are you among the many who do not give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or are you among the few who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again said, وَإِذْ تَأَذَّنَ رَبُّكُمْ لَإِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and remember, 
when Allah called, you know, your Lord called, and He said, indeed, the one, meaning if you are great, you are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then He will increase you. Meaning if you want provision, you want your provision to increase, then you should be among those who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَئِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ إِنَّ عَذَابِي لَشَدِيدٍ Here is different. Allah said, and if you are to be ungrateful, meaning, when we look at it here, Allah said, if you want increase in your provision, then you should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if Allah has given you, you did not thank Him to increase for you, then you become among those who are ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you should know that the punishment of Allah is indeed severe. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminded us. And we should know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is said, أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِيَعْلَمَ بِالشَّاقِرِينَ And then Allah, the most knowing, who is grateful to Him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it comes to the gratitude, it is Allah who knows among us who are grateful to Him. A lot of us will say Alhamdulillah on our tongue, but in our hearts, we are not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes we say Alhamdulillah, then we say but, and then we say so many things after that. So when it comes to gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to be among the few that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said are grateful to Him. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه الغفور الرحيم. بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. أوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله. The reason why I mention about the gratitude. Because a lot of us, we believe we're going to be among the few who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Before you can be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to recognize Allah's bounty. You have to recognize the bounties that you were given. As we know, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, he has shown the children of Adam alayhi salam to him. He has shown to him, Adam alayhi salam was able to see among his progeny to come who Allah has favored in terms of provision, who Allah has given wealth, who Allah has given help, who Allah has given long life, who Allah has given children, who Allah has made attractive and the ones that Allah did not give. So Adam alayhi salam, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why is it that Allah did not make everything equal? Meaning, if Allah has made everything equal for everybody, then that's it, you know? No big deal, so nobody will feel certain way. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, إِنِّي أَحْبَبْتُ أَنْ أُشْتَرُ Allah said, I love to be thanked. I love to be praised. So this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah already did it for a purpose. Why? Because if all of us have everything equal, you will not recognize the favors of Allah. You will not recognize the bounty of Allah for you to even be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if you are blessed with provision, you have a job, you're able to go and earn something to sustain you, you're able to take care of your family, 
even though you do not see a lot of money in your account, for that that Allah has done for you, you will be grateful. Because when you see somebody else, is homeless. Somebody Allah has deprived. Allah did not give him what you had. Even though to you, it was insignificant. Because you're thinking, I'm working six days, seven days. I can only pay my rent. I can only do this, I can only do that. Somebody do not even have a place for him to even pay rent. Somebody does not have a job for him to even get something for him to even buy food. The same way, you go to the hospital, you notice somebody, he's sick. He's not even able to eat. They have to feed him through a tube. And then you are able to go to work, you are able to buy your food and eat. And yet you're thinking, just because you do not see that numbers in your account, you feel that Allah did not bless you. You see somebody who is in a situation where he's not able to help himself. And Allah give you this help that you wake up every day. This is what we take for granted. You wake up every day. You're able to go by a day. But you still complain about the little things. Then somebody is there. Even when he wakes up, he's not able to leave the bed unless somebody help him off the bed. So do you recognize all these bounties that we take for granted to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Say, so among the favors of Allah that we take for granted is good health and free time. A lot of us, we don't even recognize that we are healthy. Until something happened to us, that one day you get up, you're not able to move. One day you up, there's nothing you can do, you feel sick. That's when you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many times do you get up, you're healthy, and you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We have free time. To do whatever we are able to do, we take it for granted. There are some people who are locked up. Their freedom is taken away from them. Sometimes they wish they could be going to the masjid. As we know, when Aisha radiallahu anha, she reported the Prophet sallallahu when she saw him praying, his whole feet would swell. And she was wondering, you are somebody that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven you. Your past sins and the future sins. Why do you still kill yourself, exhaust yourself in worshiping Allah? What did he say? Shouldn't I be a servant who is grateful? So to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to use that strength, that free time he has given you to worship him. This is part of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What do we do? In our world today, somebody Allah made way for. A lot of us, we left our countries. We came here. In our countries, there are no opportunities. Forget about it. There are many college graduates. Some have graduated six years, 10 years, they're still sitting there, no job. In this country, even if you come, you don't have the right documents, you find something to do. There's a way Allah will provide for you. A lot of us, we forgot, we have forgotten where we came from. We have forgotten our situation. Then we come here, we forget, we just keep going. And we forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We forget about being thankful to Him. If we pay attention to what's going on now, we have this, what they call, immigrant crisis. Even now, a lot of the Masadi that are taking some people. Some people, they sold their own businesses. Some people took loans. 
Some people sold their family properties in order to come. I met one young brother, he said he had a business that was going on for him. He sold a business for $11,000. He came, he only been here three days and he started complaining. He said, I wish I could just go back home. He said, this is what they told me and I'm here. So you have to remember the bounty of Allah. Because wherever you are, if you're able to have food, to have clothes, to have a place to stay, you are blessed. But a lot of times, because of everything that's going on in this life, we're looking at the ones who Allah has blessed with most. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he advised Abu Dhar. He said, do not look at the ones above you. Look at the ones who are below you. Why? So you become among those who are grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Because every time your eyes is set on what Allah has given other people, you will always be ungrateful. Because you're not thinking about what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has blessed you with. You're thinking, looking at what somebody has. And this is the reality. Among the famous of Allah, you see somebody, while everybody is struggling with their regular jobs, Allah favored this person. He gets scholarship, goes to school, graduates, and has this, you know, high paced you know, career. He's doing well in this life. But then, he becomes busy to even worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are a lot of people, Allah has made it so easy for them. But they became so busy to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you, who Allah made it easy for you to be able to establish your prayers in the masjid, you should be somebody who is grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if the bounty of Allah will take you away from Allah, then know that that's a trial for you. That is not a blessing. Because the bounty of Allah will draw you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Sulaiman alayhi salam, when Allah gave him what he gave him, from the authority, from the power, he said, this is indeed from Allah to test me, to see if I'm going to be grateful or ungrateful. So you should always think about that. The same way, for some sisters that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed with beauty. He favored them with beauty, made them more attractive than others. In order that they thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by obeying Allah's instructions to cover themselves properly, to cover their beauty, and the adornment today, they expose it. And then they use it, especially on social media, they dance and they show in everyone, you know, that as if they created themselves, that they are so beautiful. So this is why Allah said, majority of people are ungrateful to Him. Look at the Muslim Ummah. It's so sad that you see a Muslim sister, some of them will put on the abaya, the hijab, and still they are on social media doing this and that. And this is a sign of ingratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then you have parents who Allah has blessed with children. Some of them are there, be married for long, they are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for children. And they are not able to get children. But then you have some parents Every little thing the child does wrong, they curse them. Instead of praying that Allah guide my child, Allah guide my child, instead they curse the child. This is a sign of being ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same thing, you have some women who they have their husbands going out to work hard to provide for them. But because they want to be like everyone. 
They also would challenge their husbands. I also want to go out there and work. I want to go out there and also earn my own money. This is all signs of being ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to be people who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Among the greatest of favor of Allah that we should be thankful for is the Islam that Allah has given us. We did not ask for it. There are many people who are misguided. Many are worshiping idols. Many are lost. Many, they don't know their purpose on this earth. Then Allah guide you and me that we know who our Lord is. We know what He wants from us. We know what He asks from us. Shouldn't we be among those who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Shouldn't we be thanking Allah every day for Islam? It is the lack of Islam that is why today they give certificate to a man who marries a man. It is lack of Islam that today they give certificate to a woman who marries a woman. It is lack of Islam that they are giving children their right to change their genders. Because they don't have Islam. Allah has given you and me Islam. Are we grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are we thankful to Allah for the little blessings, for our families, for everything that we have? Because one day Allah will take his favor. One day, that favor, Allah will take it. ثُمَّ لَتُسْأَلُنَّ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ And Allah will question us upon every little favor that He has given us. Sometimes we take it for granted. We don't recognize the favors of Allah. We think it's too little. And this is why we become ungrateful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever He has given you, Allah will question you. And it was reported by Abu Hurairah, he said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sworn, he said, وَالَّذِي nafsi biyadi." He said, he sworn by the one that his soul is in his hands, Allah. Then he said, مِنَ النَّعِيمِ الَّذِي تُسْأَلُونَ عَنْهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Among the favors of Allah, bounties of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question a servant on the day of judgment. Allah, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, ظِلٌ bari," Meaning, the cool shade. You know, sometimes you're walking around that little shade, you get to enjoy a little bit. You know, why it's sunny, you go under it when it's raining. That Allah will question you about it. Then he said, وَرُطَبٌ طَيِّبٌ He said, the fresh dates, meaning as small as dates. Remember when we come here in Ramadan, there are dates. If you were to be asked, you know, If you were to count the, the famous of Allah, you will not be able to. Can you count how many dates you ate in this masjid alone? You will not be able to count. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question you for each one of the dates that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you. And Allah and the Prophet ﷺ said, وَمَاءٌ بَارِ And the cool water. Water that was here. Right now I just took a sip. I'll be questioned about this water right here. Every water, whatever you have drunk, you will not be able to count today. But on the day of judgment, Allah will question you. So we should be prepared to answer that question. The best way to be among those who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the very few who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Jabir also he reported you know on the authority of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said man lam yashkur al-qadeel lam yashkur al-kathir he said the one who is not grateful for the little things he will not be grateful for the bigger things and this is the nature of a human being look at what you had when you were back home and what you have today. Are you thanking Allah? Do you see the difference? Oh, Allah has favored me. I'm here. You know? Are you thankful to Allah? Because if you do not see it, even if Allah give you a billion dollars, you will not be grateful to Him. And then He said, 
Let me ask you about Azza wa Jal. And the one who is not thankful to people, indeed, is not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you know why? A lot of times, Allah will not send His favor to you through the angels. It's going to come through people. People will do you favors. And by thanking them, you are being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should always pay attention and we should always be among those who thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Among the few who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we shouldn't be among the many, the majority, who do not thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us. May Allah make us among the few who are grateful to Him. May Allah bless us. May Allah bless our family. May Allah bless our children. May Allah forgive our shortcomings. ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسن وفي الآخرة حسن وكنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تجب قلبنا بعد إذا نيتنا وحب لنا من لديك رحمة منك أنت الوحاب ربنا حب لنا من أزواجنا ودنياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا لنا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد إن شاء الله before we pray this an announcement you know, inshallah, among the favors of Allah, there's, you know, one of our brothers here is Hajnu, is among the board members. Inshallah, he's going to give his daughter away on this Sunday, around four something. So inshallah, if you have time, you could be part of it, you know, to witness, to witness the blessing. Because this is how the ummah increase through this, you know. You know, through marriage and then the children and before you realize, you know, we are stronger ummah. May Allah bless the marriage. May Allah give them, you know, the fear, the taqwa to be able to give each other their rights. May Allah bless them with righteous children.